Hello guys, how are you? Uh, thanks for the response, Rob and company. Um, I'm definitely gonna check your Jimmy Page uh, video with the new LP out. Um, nice to see all you guys back, Marty. You know, Craig. I mean, you know, Derek. All you guys. Um, just got uh, a few things that I wanted to show you. Got recently. I said I hadn't bought any records, but you know, I got some and spent much money, a little bit. And I wanted to share them with you. And actually, I should have you know, had them ready, but you're going to see me disappear for a second or two. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this is um, actually on the Fontana label. I don't think I ever have anything on the Fontana label. I might be wrong. But this is a great album, The Game of Love by Wayne Fontana and the Mindbenders of Manchester Band. Um, actually, I love it that it has the original sleeve as well. <laughs> Man, the computer's going <laughs> slow today. Okay, and I don't know what's with the camera, but anyway, there it is, it's got the sleeve, uh, Oscar Brown, Gloria Lynn, Wayne Fontana, The Game of Love, it's a mono pressing, first press, pick this up for a buck, <laughs> it's just cool, yeah, the, the, the album cover is shot, but the record's in very good shape on Fontana, in mono, so cool. I got this already, but I want to get it. Man, a buck. It's the Kingsman on Wand Records from Louis Louis first press. Really, really cool. And it has the uh, the original inner sleeve as well. I'm not set to records. Well, Wand, of course, Wand set to records. Really cool. Then, uh, as you guys know, the original bassist uh, with uh, Elvis Presley combo, Scotty Moore, Elvis and Bill Black, released a great instrumental albums in the late 50s, early 60s, before he passed away in 65, I think it was. Bill Black's Jukebox Favorites, has Proud Mary, Creedence Clearwater, has a lot of good songs. Of course, this is after he passed away. Has um, One Man Julep, Alley Cat, Night Train. I love it, the Warlicks are on the cover. I mean, you see that in the jukebox, and it talks about jukeboxes in the back as well, a little bit, you know, the story of jukeboxes. So this is a 1972 edition. Then this is the untouchable sound of the Bill Black combo. It has a Castle Rock, I Can't Stop Loving You, Cheating Hard, Night Train Again, Ain't That a Shame. This is an original first press, you know, stereo, but uh, even though the, uh, the recovery is it's not 100% great, the album is Bill Black Combo Goes West. This I want to hear. On high records is in mono, it's a first press. And it's got a lot of great songs. San Antonio Rose, Tumbling Tumbleweeds, Deep in the Heart of Texas, El Rancho Grande, Yellow Rose of Texas, Red River Valley, Home on the Range. This is a stereo version of it. Go Bucks combo. Got these all for a buck. This album is such a hard album to find. Probably one of their best, if not their best album. Uh, of course, there's the one that they unreleased and they released it in an import CD here in the US called Head Games. I'm talking about one of my favorite bands of all time, Badfinger, with the album called Wish You Were Here, you know. As Pink Floyd has Wish You Were Here, so does Badfinger. This album was quickly shelved by Warner Bros. after not even two months, I think it was six or seven weeks. And the album would have been a big hit, because it's probably their most cohesive album yet. It has great songs, Joy Mullen composed the majority, well not the majority, but half of them. Songs like, you know, In the Meantime, King of the Load, Meanwhile Back at the Ranch, they're great songs. Really, really good. Joey Holland, uh, Pete Ham, Mike Gibbons, and Tom Evans. This is a great, this is an actual, it's not a reissue. I don't ever think they reissued this. This is the first press on Warner's. If you can get this, I you know, definitely recommend. And I say, not the best to last, but the rarest for last. You guys, of course, know like, the famous comedian, comic, stand-up comic from Saturday Night Live and his Fletch movies and other movies, Chevy Chase and uh, Caddyshack. You know, he goes in a Boston band in the late 60s uh, you know and, and what's incredible about it he was a drummer he played I think harpsichord and some other things on them as well uh, they were known as Chameleon Church and what's amazing that I got this album for three bucks the cover is shot but the record is mint well near mint condition for a record that's you know from the late 60s 67 it has great songs on it like um, Camille is changing coming to your life if you go to YouTube you can you can actually check out some of these uh, of these songs. Uh, there is a Chevy Chase. You'll see him <laughs> in the background. He is, as you can see, right there. That's Chevy Chase for you, guys. 
um, play drums on the band. But what's so cool about this one, if you see it, it says a sticker says DJ Mono on it. Well, I said the sticker says DJ Mono, even though the actual cover says Stereo on the Chameleon Church album. You'll see it, it'll say Stereo on, on the blue corner there. But when I checked it to see if this was really a DJ copy, I mean, that would be a thrill. Well, lo and behold, it is. It's actually a promo copy. It's, it says it even MGM, special disc jockey record, not for sale, Chameleon Church. And if it says mono, it, I wonder if it was recorded mono. You guys might know more about this. I know Jeff, who's a big psych fan, and Derek might know more about it. But there it says it. You'll see it. It says, um, wait, I'm sorry about the sliding here. Special disc jockey record. See if this camera. And yes, I need to buy a new camera. Special disc jockey record, MGM, not for sale. Chameleon Church. I wonder if by any chance, you know, it will. But it does. You'll, you'll see it there. Okay, come on, camera. Special disc jockey record. Sorry, I didn't want to guys make your, you know, bend your necks in order to see it. Special disc jockey record. Not for sales, you'll see in low letters be light at MGM Chameleon Church. So I'm wondering if it's in mono or not. I'll need to listen to it. I'll listen to it yet. But it is. It's a special disc jockey promo record of Chameleon Church's album. The album is in great shape. I mean, dudes, this album is really in great shape, you know. The cover is so so, but you know, dude, who cares? You know, the one thing is the album. And I think that's a pretty good find, a rare find as well, as with the Bad Finger album. Um, they say, some of you say Chameleon Church was very good. Bon Rob, you're from Boston. I'm sure you heard about them. I don't even know if you might have even seen them play back in the day. Um, I know they lasted for one album and that was it. You know, Chevy Chase and the other guys went on to form another band that was well known in Boston at the time. I forgot the name of it. Rob, you'll let, correct me and let me know who they were. And Chevy Chase went, of course, to pursue his uh, comedy and writing and, you know, became famous in the early 70s, mid 70s, and Saturday Night Live with the skits he did on present Ford and all that so you know I just wanted to show you what I got um, I thought it was pretty cool they're pretty cool finds um, you know the, the Chameleon Church I love the cover I wish it was in better shape I mean it, it you know but still it's a cool cover and the DJ monorail not for sale sticker and checking the album out and seeing yeah it's a mono copy of it so you know that that's good it's cool I mean it's saying you know it may be worth a pretty penny maybe to some people it's worth a pretty penny but uh, cool cool to get that you know Shout out to all my buddies, shout out to Gary and Trax and Wax as well. And I'll be posting videos, you know. Now I'm gonna hopefully won't take as long as I used to do. So that was it, hope you guys are doing great. I was gonna show you all the Bad Finger albums, but uh, so let me show you this one. All right, so this is LP Loco, love you guys, peace. A lot of peace and love, I hope you're enjoying these beautiful spring days leading to summer. And I hope you enjoyed the video as well and liked it and I'll keep watching your videos and you know, much love to all, all my, my friends in, in the Vinyl family. Love and peace. Take care, guys. Ciao.